Looking at our future track, we will see any showers and thunderstorms during the evening hours die out after sunset, and that will bring us a quiet night. And by 7 o'clock Friday morning, could be some patchy fog out there. Temperatures will be falling into the low 70s. And Friday is looking like a pretty quiet day here across our region. Any isolated showers and thunderstorms will likely be to our south or over to the east. And we will be tracking a system out of the southeastern United States, and this is not atypical for summer. That will continue to work its way back toward the west. And with that, we will have the potential for maybe a few isolated to widely scattered thunderstorms as we head towards Saturday evening. And then again, as we head into Sunday and maybe most of next week as well. Your future track temperatures taking us down into the 70s as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Maybe a few upper 60s here and there, but it should be a pretty decent start as we make our way into Friday morning. During the afternoon hours, temperatures will be on the way up. We should see 90s across the board, so it is going to be a hot and steamy day all across central Texas. Then as we work our way into our Saturday morning and our weekend temperatures starting off in the mid 70s, so it will be a little muggy to start off the weekend and during the afternoon those highs get back up into the 90s. This is even showing warmer conditions in the mid to upper 90s, maybe a little overdone with the humidity around, but it is going to be hot and steamy over the next couple of days. Checking out your forecast, we are going to go about 93, 94 degrees as we make our way through the next couple of days. And yes, the humidity will make it feel warmer. 20% chance of isolated storms Saturday, 30% Sunday as that wave to the east gets a little bit closer, taking it down to 20% Monday and then Tuesday through Thursday. Yes, including July 4th. We will have a chance for widely scattered afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Not everyone getting wet, but the potential for a few thunderstorms will be there. So make sure you keep an eye to the sky if you have outdoor plans as we head into the holiday next week. And highs will be seasonable into the low to mid-90s. Keep it right here on First Alert Central Texas. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines.